What's up? What's up, everybody? This is Afro Joe Ten Like Ti is again, like always. Now, y'all heard a story about Michael Brown being shot by police officers. And when I heard this story, it's right after I heard Robin Williams' death, which I was really upset because how you lose somebody that great that brings life to everybody and kind of gets you depressed yourself. But when I heard this story about this teenager getting shot by a police officer. And people rioting. I was like, man, it's like Rodney King all over again. When Rodney King got beaten, and they let them officers off for beating on him, what happened? That riot plus the riots in the 60s, and the 70s, and the 80s. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> I know there's going to be a lot of people saying, well, it was, it was racial. It was racial. Well, if you look at it, it kind of is a racial, and it's kind of police, it's b police brutality. Like, didn't they learn anything from that Eric Gartner story? Come on now. Did they learn anything about that Eric Gartner story? And I'm for real. Think about it. We just, this man just died a few weeks ago by being choked out by a police officer. So the police officer that choked him to death is going to be charged with murder, and plus the other officers that helped him are going to be charged for accessories. But it's like this, man. He got shot and killed, which set everybody off. And then now they want to give out a tape saying, oh, he stole cigars, and they trying to badmouth this kid. And it's like, Fred, you going to badmouth this kid? That's like, didn't y'all do the same thing to Trayvon Martin? With the media and the police trying to badmouth this kid, but he was shot and the killer got away, got off. Trayvon Martin was killed, and the killer gets off. I said we just went through the same thing with Trayvon Martin. Plus, what happened? That other kid that got shot in his car because he's playing the music a little bit too loud. Eric Gardner, and now this kid. And then there was the other kid that got arrested. And the police put the handcuffs on him. They shot him. And they and, and it's getting bad. And they saying, oh, they 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 trying to bam out this kid. And trying to say, what they did was they, it's been like a week. And they talked to, it's been like, right at the, like y'all remember when Monday, last Monday, we heard about Robin Williams' death. Then we hear about this kid getting killed by a police officer. Why did it take a whole seven days to show that he was in the circle? They did the same thing to Trayvon Martin back in 2012, March 24th. I mean, March 23rd, 2012. There was a video I saw of Dick Gregory talking about how come they didn't show the tape he was in the stove. And after I seen that video, that video was posted on March 24, 2013. About that time, April, they finally showed a tape of Trayvon in the store. It's the same. It's the same thing with this kid. They waited seven days to show him he was in the store. And what was said was that he only see it, the, the the story is what I don't get. This is why I don't like to watch the news. What they saying was. When the story broke, he said, oh, a teenager was shot by a police officer, killed. That's all they said. That's all we knew. Kid got shot by a police officer. Black kid got shot by a police officer. That's all we knew. That's all we heard was black kid shot by Popo. And then, next thing you know, it is, a few days later, uh, he robbed the store. Robbed, robbed the store? Well, hold on, hold on. Robbed the store of What? Oh, he robbed it for a box of cigars that was $49. I was like, hold on, hold on. Why does a teenager want to steal a box of cigars that cost $49 or 40 bucks? That's the question. Why would any kid want to steal cigars for 40, 40 to $49? Might as well say 50 That's the question. Why? I know some of us, they used to smoke, you know, you get, but you know we get that Swiss and Sweet or that Cigarillos. But a box of cigars like a bit like he said when they said cigars, you think about Cuban cigar that comes in that big ass box. 
That's what you think. They didn't say, well, small packages of cigarillos. They said, no, a box of cigars, and that was it. And I was sitting up there, it's like, he stole a box of cigars. For what reason would this kid steal a box of cigars? For what reason? I said, it's the same damn thing what they did to Trayvon Martin. They trying to make Trayvon Martin look bad. But I said, oh, he had weed on all this and that. I said, put this shit together, people. Put this shit together, for real. They making this kid look bad because of what? One mistake? And he ended up dead. And what else happened? Same with Trayvon. One mistake. He ended up getting shot and killed. Oh, he's a thug. Trayvon's a thug. They doing the same thing to Trayvon Martin with this is what they doing to Michael Brown. They saying he's this bad kid. They saying you don't know this kid from a hole in the wall. You don't know nothing about this kid. But they putting all this he's a bad kid, he did this, he did that, he did this. How are we supposed to know what's the truth and what's the lie? You gotta remember, ladies and gentlemen, the lead, the media loves to lie about shit. We don't know this kid from a hole in the wall. And they saying he's a bad kid, a terrible kid, da 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 trying to make this kid look back and you don't know this kid and this kid is dead and it's getting to a point I just did it when I did the Eric Garner video I thought it said the same thing it's getting to the point where people are going to get scared enough to walk not to walk outside their house because the cause they're afraid the police going to shoot them kill them what they said was I seen the video what they said was about Michael Brown was that he walked in the store Robbed this guy, and I seen the video, and it's like robbed the guy. There's no sound; you can hardly even tell that's him. Cause if you look at a fucking video surveillance tape from any store, it's too pixelated. You can't see who the hell they are. All they see was a black dude with the red hat. You can't see facial features. It's the same as when you look at a, a black, a white person robbing a store. Pixelated. You can't tell who who it is. You might see some glasses in the hand, but you don't know the face. That's all you're going to see is the hand, whatever they're wearing, and that's it. You can't see their facial features in those kind of cameras. Am I right? Am I fucking right about that? Because I know. I know because every time they show this, it's like, I, it's, it, that don't look like him. See what I'm saying? Because that's every convenience store. They said the kid, they said Michael... Brown robbed the store and the policeman that shot him didn't know he was a suspect didn't even know the kid robbed the store when I first heard when I when I first heard that he got shot and killed by a police I said look that is a racial issue it's a racial issue it is it's a big one then they said well he robbed the store I said oh he robbed the store but that doesn't mean you should shoot to kill because he robbed the store. Then I second guessed that. I said, then why y'all wait so long to say that? Why did y'all wait seven days just to say he robbed the store? Why did that police officer didn't know he was a suspect in this crime? I ain't saying he's guilty. I ain't saying he's guilty. That's what I'm not saying. I'm saying... If you paid attention close enough, because I used to watch cops, the show Cop Bad Boys, Bad Boys, and you can hear on their little radio, they got suspect wearing a red hat, blue shirt, green pants, whatever. They give you a damn description. And the police officer didn't know that Michael Brown was a suspect. I said, didn't know, don't they say what the suspect looked like? And you didn't know this boy was a suspect? And you shoot the kill? At first, when I heard, I said, "Well, he he robbed a store." I said, "Well, he need to go to jail for that if he robbed us. If if the key word is if he robbed that store, then they said, oh, he didn't know he was the suspect.' Then I said, "No, it's a racial issue. It's a racial issue. Bullshit. That whole he robbed the store doesn't cut it. The boy was unarmed and they shot the kill. They shot the kill, and it's getting terrible." There, you can't put your kid, can't take your kids nowhere without the police shooting at them. It's bad enough the gangs, the pedophiles, the rape. Look, yeah, hell yeah. You can't send them to school because the teachers want them fuck them. Can't send them to church because the preachers want them fuck them. 
can't let the neighbors watch him because the f neighbors want to fuck him or put him in a game to sell drugs. I said, how I'm saying, I was like, I thought police take this old called serve and protect. They look the words, serve and protect. The protection, where is the fucking protection? Where is the protection at? Protection. I'm sitting up there wondering, you killed this kid out of what the color of his skin. It's like, I know some of y'all gonna watch this and say, what about white folks? I seen so I, and I say I say this because I thought about it. I was like I was like I sat there and I looked up YouTube videos. I was like, and there's new new story about white kids getting did wrong by the police, but they don't show it that often on the media. Like y'all really ain't back. Y'all really ain't mainstream uh, stories. You know why? Because they don't look at when it's something like this when the police harass a minority. They don't see white people as a minority, but when they see black people as a minority, they shoot to kill. Not trying to say white people can't do the same damn things a black person can do, but you see how the story goes, how the media wants to play this. If they see a white person getting harassed and did wrong by the police, you get a second. Black person gets killed by police, they get an hour. You see where I'm coming from. It's vice versa. White girl goes missing, they take a week. Black kid go missing, take a second. Vice versa on certain cases. And that's racist. Don't sit there and think I'm saying them being trying to be racist. I ain't trying to be racist. That's how the media works. Pay attention to these medias. Pay attention to that media shit. Let a white kid go missing. They flash this shit for a week or a month or a year. Look at that Holly Bobo story they did. Look at that Holly Bobo. Look how long they've been doing that store. Holly Bobo. And she a white girl. Let a black kid go missing at the same damn time as Holly Bobo did. You ain't never gonna hear about it. But you hear about black kid getting killed. But you ain't never gonna hear about white kid getting killed. By a cop. You never will. That's how the media works, people. The media put out this shit. This bullshit to get you riled up. To make you go out there and, and loot and and all this and riot loot and riot not paying attention to what you're doing to me to me it's like this we shouldn't riot that's the worst thing to do is riot because of incidents like this instead of doing that if I would have been been there I said look man let's go down to the police station and just sit there have a sitting a standing or go down to the Capitol, have a sit in or a stand in with signs and pickets and all that shit telling justice for this kid. Justice for this kid because it's getting to the point where if it ain't gonna be the cause you remember how you remember how this how the kids started dying. First it was the gangs that was killing. Then it was the drugs that was killing, then it was huffing that paint. You remember huffing paint and uh, free on from the gay, uh, from the AC, or doing bath salt, killing them, or committing suicide. You see, see all these levels the kids used to kill themselves. Look at it now, it's give all the. It's 2014. They saying fuck the damn game bangers. Game bangers ain't doing shit. That's what they saying. This is how it's going. Game bangers, fuck them. Fuck the judge. Fuck huffing, free on and. Paint, fuck, fucking, uh, 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 suicide, fuck this, and fuck that, so we're gonna kill them by popo. That's how we're gonna get rid of kids. See what I see? And that's how it is. Man, pay attention to this shit. Media ain't shit, but they really like to rile your asses up. So I have something to report. And this kid did not have to die. And I seen the video, and I'm sitting up there, and he put. He got that little dude's shirt, and I was like, why he walking up on this kid? They, they, there's no sound to see, hear what happened. You can't tell what was said. You don't know who that black dude was, but all they could say to that video was, oh, he robbed a guy. That's all you can say. That's all you can say. That's all they said was, oh, he robbed a guy. That's it. They trying to show some bullshit pe paperwork. I say, hold up, that's media. They can bring up any damn thing just to make it look like it's a crime. 
I said maybe this one, maybe that little dude called him, maybe that little store clerk called him the N word. How you know we wasn't there? But he lost his life for it. For what was done and said. Got shot and killed by police. Another then another kid was in custody with handcuffs, and the damn popo shot and killed him. What's up with this shit, man? We can't we can't live into society today. We can't send your kids to school without something happening. And to me, I want to have kids, but why have them? It's getting to a point to ask this question to everybody. You got kids, yeah? Why have them? You might as well kill your kid now before the police do. That's all it is. You might as well. I ain't saying do it. I ain't saying kill your kids. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying it's like this. Why have kids if the world is that fucking bad? That is the main question to ask. Why have kids if that's going to happen to you? And they just said they found six bullets in this guy. Six bullets. And I'm sitting up here scratching my head and shit. And I'm like, did I miss something here? I thought, I was like, racism is never going to die. And I'm sitting up here and I'm, and I'm questioning the police. And I sit there and I look, I was like, and I'm questioning this shit, man, I was like, man, I'm questioning this shit like, why? Police killing people, man. I thought they would have learned their lessons from that whole Eric Garner shit, but it seems like they didn't. They saying these, the, 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 what is it? The Michael Michael Brown, the unarmed black teen who was killed by a police officer, speaks sparks uh, protests around. The nation was a lot was shot at least six times, including twice in the head. Private autopsy was performed Sunday. Come on. Come on, six times two in the head. Come on, people. Something ain't sitting right. This kid getting shot six damn times by the fucking police. And that's some, that's, that's some shit. That's some shit. It's like, that's some bullshit. Y'all sit up here and you ain't, we gonna ride. What the hell ride gonna do? They ain't gonna do shit. Rioting is not going to help this situation. If I was in the shoes, man, I was. Let's go pro down, protest down at the at the uh, at the city hall. Let's go down to the capitol. Let's go down to the police department. Pick it until they sent this motherfucker to prison. That's what I want. It's getting to the point where, man, if I was Obama, I would have set a law out already ever since that Gardner shit. That's what I would have did. I would have said. I would have said this shit out. I would have said, look, man, Eric, so he killed Eric Garner. Any police abuse, they badge, they get life in prison. None of that suspension. None of that damn time out. None of that. Or lose their job. No, they going straight prison. Don't They get charged just like everybody else. That badge don't make the man, and the man don't make that badge. You kill an innocent, unarmed person, you going to prison. Because what y'all did to Eric Garner is bullshit. That's what I would have did if I was Obama. And that's how it is. I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about this situation. Do you think the cop should go to prison? Do you think he had every right to shoot this kid? Do you think the media is full of shit? Because I do. Do you think they made that part of 
did you do you think the media made that part up about him stealing from a store? Tell me what you think and and holler at me. Leave me leave it in the comment section. Follow me on follow me on Twitter. Follow me on the uh, Tumblr. Subscribe to my channel, Silo Junior Two, Silo Junior Three, and tell me what you think. Holla at me, peace.